Nah, dude. It's, <laughs> special it's, set of skills. Yeah, yeah. You know, things might be weird here for a little bit, but, you know. That's a good slogan. It's a good political things slogan. Things might be weird. <laughs> things <laughs> might be weird. All right. That's, I think you can run. Brett in Round Lake, you're on the score. Yeah, as an Illinois basketball fan, I am so frustrated with John Gross. He's one of the most incompetent coaches in Illinois history. He's got a 31-47 and 47 record in Big Ten play. It's obviously, he doesn't recruit well. He doesn't in-game coach. And the lack of discipline is just mind-boggling. And what makes it worse is I've had uh, season tickets at Northwestern for about eight years now to just specifically see Illinois and watch <laughs> what Chris Collins has done there. Wait, so, well, so, well, so, so, so let's Brett, re- you just go to, to Hold on. <laughs> Rewind this a second. You bought season tickets at Northwestern just so you can go to one game a year? Yeah, it's economically cheaper, really. I mean, the Northwestern season tickets aren't that expensive. Uh, you sell a couple Big Ten games and you make your money back. It's uh, oh okay, but, but yeah, and they're you know, fun. Yeah, it's, and it's if you're a basketball fan, it's good. There's a lot of good teams that come in, and you get to see it's cheap entertainment. And you can go to the 24 Hour Burger King right over there in in downtown Evanston. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's all but, kinds of stuff. You can hit a Buffalo Joe's, Clark's. There's, oh, there's all stuff. yeah. But yeah. we did that when when I we did Clark's when I. Took the kid to a game the other uh, la- two two years ago. We got to get back there. Actually, I got to call Jimmy Phillips or Poliski and get a couple. There of was a dude who worked in the twenty four hour Burger King who we tormented and tortured uh, all through high school. His name was Sherm. Uh, Sherm Sherm worked at that Burger King for years and years and years. Cool cat, but we used to just get we were stupid high school kids and we we we'd order stuff and. You know, and, and mess with him about the order and tell him that he messed up our order. We were bad kids back then. But Sherm, and then Sherm, Sherm became cool to all of us after and a while. now for the rest of the story. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Right. I don't know what, what's up with Sherm, but I, I thought about Sherm when I mentioned the 24-hour Burger King. I wonder if Sherm is still there. He worked there, Dan, no lie, for a good 10 years. Like every he time get a he, promotion? He was, was he like a struggling actor or that was his, his uh, side hustle? No, or? I don't I don't know if Sherm was a struggling actor. Or it is just, it oh see uh, there's some people King I know forever. there's some people I know who were veteran fast food nightside employees who if the proper wording was used would make sure as you went through the drive through there was a I don't know, a bag in your bag. Really? Yeah. That, that, just a little little hookup? Just depending on if you phrased things I mean, properly. You don't have to act like you're getting like keys of coke, you know, under the table. You're, <laughs> you're getting, getting a little like, much. Right, you're, getting, you're getting a free thing of onion rings. He's acting like the feds no, are watching no, no. them. No, I'm not talking about a free thing on your rings. Oh, I'm, oh, so yeah. something to help you enjoy your meal. Yes. Oh, come on, that's, that's I didn't know. I thought oh, sure. you were talking about free food. No, 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 no. no. We're talking about a little uh, um, oh. appetite enhancer, perhaps. All right, all right. That there, that there was some who would shaped just, like Capitol Hill. Would <laughs> have no. It just would. would it, was, it was a perfect deal where they they'd man the drive through, and okay, if you knew your guy was there, you know. uh, that's a that's a good way to. You know, a little cottage industry right there. You know, you know what they're coming for. That's working the system is what it is. It really is. And it, it, it's, it's, uh, Both King. products sell themselves, you know? Yeah, the, the only issue I have with I love Burger King, mm-hmm. um, but they, they ruin their fries, man. They, they, I don't know. I get onion rings every time. That's what happened with me. I, I've decided when I do that, I do, I've now done onion rings instead because I don't like those rice flour coated, quote unquote, crispy yeah, fries. Fries have been trash for years. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it like you are. The fries have been awful for a very long time. They even had a campaign like our new and improved fries. Our like, fries are fr- not these, bad <laughs> yeah, anymore. These fries still suck. Uh, and then the zesty sauce, the zesty sauce that goes with the onion rings. Look, this, that, now that's now now you're cooking with gas. I don't know. If you told us, what about, what Although about? I'm cl- I'm close to the one of the worst Burger Kings probably in the state, uh, right down the street. Really? The one on Michigan is god awful. Why? It nothing's ever. Warm or hot? I didn't think uh, they had the quality control issues. Like, like I know Harold's. There's the, oh, good Harold's, and bad Harold's. Oh, with with Browns, there are Harold's. always the good Browns and the bad Browns and the murder Browns. <laughs> just, where, you, where, where are you? He's in the cooler. Right. Just leave him in there. I used to but, live next to the murder Browns. To be honest with you, they were a weird family. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Mr. Brown, Mrs. Right. Brown, and all the little murder Browns. See, now ah! we're going to get close to like like to what might be potential sponsors and and talking crazy about them. No, it's just, you know, it's, like, it's, it's a truth. And that's my and I've mentioned like, this before. I, can I say that Church's Chicken is one of the worst things that's ever happened to uh, fast food? I like Church's Chicken. No, they used to do Victory Chicken. Nice and salty and greasy. 
Wow. I love church. You talk about chicken. two Americas right here. Church's chicken? Yes. Yes. Big fan. The only fan. Fast- Bernsey, you got to try uh, Bojangles. You got to go south I and try Bojangles. I lived in North Carolina for five years. Uh, I didn't know this about is, it this until. This is where I uh, exit the conversation. <laughs> I didn't know about it until oh, no, Bojangles, last September. Bojangles outstanding. And their breakfasts. Their breakfast, you will, you will, you, you stand there. It's like Robin Williams in Moscow and the Hudson buying coffee. You look, you're like, biscuit, biscuit, uh, biscuit. Uh, oh my God. You don't know what to order. And then you want to get everything. And then you eat, you do, and you go home and I nap. I refuse. And I was in the South for 22 months. I, I, you just, could not bring yourself to go refuse, to Bojangles? Refuse to eat at a place called Bojangles. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I'm. Yeah. I'm you, really? It's like, it's like, hey, Dad, want to go eat at Jaime's? Right, <laughs> right, yeah. right. Oh, is it J A I M E? No, no, it's not. Uh, it's the, the Cardinals Pitchers <laughs> Restaurant. Don't right. worry about yeah, it. Yeah, just yeah, it's spelled that way. Sure, go enjoy. Hey, it. I'm not about to, to eat anything from a place called Bojangles. I don't care how silly it makes me look. There used to be a. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. There, there used to be a restaurant in town around here that had a name that was even worse than that. Than Bojangles. Hmm. Had to do with a famous rhyme. See, now, all right, we're going to get back to the story I couldn't tell yesterday. There, there was a chain restaurant. Oh, yeah. Well, come on. You're, you're asking for Radio right. Raheem to throw a trash can <laughs> through your window. Right. If your name is. Bill Nunn just died, didn't he? He did, he did. Yeah, I saw that. He did. Radio! I only <laughs> like public enemy. <laughs> right. Okay. Give me 20 D batteries. <laughs> D. Yeah. yeah. Right. No, I'm not. You're not going to catch me at any place called Bojangles. I don't give a damn how good the food is. There's always a number. If they if if they were to. What? There's a, if, to, if, oh, if, to pay me to endorse? No. There's always what? a number. You're like, like Larry Elder out here? There's what, what am always I, me? a number. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Good morning, Chicago. <laughs> what this I'm Jason if you're, Goff. If you're watching on Watch670Score.com, the fist is in the air. I don't care what you say about me. I will never, ever, ever. Ever endorse <laughs> Bojangles chicken? You're tweet? not going to put the football helmet on with the uh, pink chicken like Jerry Rice. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Y'all really want to do this now? Because we can talk about. We'll, we'll do it after we can break. Talk about how that looks. We'll, too. Do, we'll do it after a break. You know, jump on Black Twitter right now and alert everybody to what, what we're about to talk about. Jerry out here. You, all you need is the tap dance. Well, let me let me stop. Let me stop. Let me I would stop. say like the white gloves. Yeah. Let me stop. I'm I'm, I'm not going to do this. Oh, told but my, I, I told my mom not in the first week. She, that, mom look, was like, Lay off that the Jerry white Rice thing bothered me, and I don't even Come have on, really. Man. I couldn't. Am- I cringed. Come on, <laughs> cringed. I said, "Oh no, Come on, man. Jerry, what are you doing?" I'm surprised he didn't go meet your boy <laughs> at, his, at his hotel. <laughs> oh, they like football. We've had Ray Lewis and we've had Jim Brown. And uh, where's, what's Jerry doing? Uh, yeah, they like they Jerry. Like, will you wear a helmet with a big piece of chicken on it? <laughs> they like the boobity boppity music. Let's get Kanye in here as well. Uh, strangely, Kanye left with blonde hair after that. If you didn't notice that, by the way, I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with the Russian secrets. And now Jerry Rice. I mean, hey. It's a good year. It's a good year there's for all, you guys. There's always a number. <laughs> there isn't. And there and won't Goff, be. I promise hour, you, Blacks. It's I promise be. you. Greg Gabriel wants to talk uh, and is going to about the Senior Bowl North roster that is going to be coached by the Bears. So there could be some inside information on some draft possibilities there. We will have that for you. If anybody hasn't seen the picture of Jerry Rice, <laughs> man. Some, 1980. Somebody's got to tell you. So somebody, somebody with you is just got to say, "Hey, yo, uh, hey, 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 Jerry, Jerry, uh, Jerry. I, I'm not trying to get in, get in the way of your money because I want your pockets to stay fat, but uh, don't put a piece of chicken on a face mask. It's and called wear that, the helmet. That's called a taste mask. There's a, it's a helmet with a Popeyes logo, and instead of like a single bar <laughs> face mask. There is a bar, and in the middle of the bar is a fried chicken leg right in front of his mouth. Well, at least he didn't you know, break the, the real rule that a lot of C and D actors who get these, these, you know, these commercials to keep the lights on. Uh-huh. You never bite the chicken in the commercial. Really? 
just, 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 bad just look? something you don't do. Okay. Because there's no way not to smile while biting the chicken. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, it's just. It's just you don't want to look angry like I do. Well, you, you're, you're, you're not, yeah, you're not going to sell it then because right, you're right. angry and, you know, your brown. You don't want to be an issue. Like a happy, smiling person <laughs> yeah, eating. Yeah. Like the right. chicken commercials always, you know, and, and, and it's, it's simple. It's, it's Popeyes and nothing. You know, that, it's really what it is. You know, and, and, you know, Chick-fil-A is big in the south, and there's a couple sprinkled here in the Chicagoland area, one right here. down. Oh, there's two actually downtown here. But, uh, yeah, it's Popeyes are, are a bust. Yes, <laughs> I just can't. And Popeyes has, a, you know, a little bit of a, hey, baby, we got chicken for you, that, that whole thing. Now, the only person outside of, like, the, the Popeyes chicken woman, I forgot what her name is, who, who would do, like, all the, mm-hmm. show all the ingredients and all that, mm-hmm. that – this is going to sound weird, but for me, if I had to top of mind associate one celebrity with selling fried chicken, it wasn't she wasn't selling chicken. She was selling the oil in which you fried your chicken. And it was the the recently departed Florence Henderson who would do television commercials for Wesson oil, for Wesson cooking oil. The chicken's got a certain Wessonality, and she was holding up. It's different when you have, like, smiling blonde mom archetype holding up her big, happy piece of chicken that, uh, you know, it's – I don't – somebody's got to tell Jerry he's not Florence Henderson. I don't know if you have <laughs> – Thank you, Farmio. <laughs> yeah, How does it feel about Passover? The, 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 show, the other commercial was Farmio just chugging Wesson oil. <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, it. <laughs> he's doing it all Passover while wearing baseball pants. That's it. Why is, why is our oil not selling? I don't know. The ad's great. <laughs> we got Farmio's just drinking it by the leader. What more do you want? <laughs> Jerry Rice is handing him that. He mistakenly hands him the hand sanitizer instead, and we got no more Farmio. It's as simple as that. Now, yeah, that, that's, th- that's tough to look at. The taste mask. And if you're at work right now, whatever you do, don't Google Jerry Rice chicken commercial. Yeah. Because, you know, um... you're going to, you know, especially not today, by the way, because <laughs> you might get a round of applause from the rest of the suite that you're working in that you yeah! want to. Yeah. That's right. It's about time. <laughs> from Finally. Fo- from football to chicken eating. I've been telling you all this time. It's enough of this PC crap. <laughs> they should all have to wear those helmets during games. <laughs> Except the quarterbacks. It's about time the NFL made them all wear chicken helmets. Yeah! USA! USA! Chicken helmets! They don't hear how chicken helmets make the game safer and tastier. Exactly. And Roger Goodell, in an, in an odd twist, these, these scientists, these actors in white lab coats have determined conclusively that wearing the chicken helmet will, will make sure that you do not get CTE. Or you can get the different CTE, which is chicken traumatic encephalopathy. That's the good kind. That's There's when a, the chicken hits you in the mouth right, in the wrong, show, the wrong angle. Right, they've, they've got, they've got uh, Julian Bales. He's slicing up a brain sample, and he says, there is a buildup of deliciousness in this brain <laughs> tissue. And if you look, that is the spicy protein that is building up on his brain. Ooh. <laughs> you mean you have both? Right? <laughs> He's got a phobia to red beans and rice that we didn't <laughs> All right, let's stop. We gotta stop. Okay, yeah, Sorry. that's why I said we, we gotta stop. No more Jerry Rice chicken jokes. We gotta do real hard hitting. I can't reading. believe that's real. Dude, someone asked him to do it. He said yes. I can't believe that's real. All right, we'll talk to Greg Gabriel next, right here on the Bernstein and Golf Show.